Goddess of the Creations. Today or tonight, I'm going to do a different version of Dirty Rice. Um, I normally don't use the mushrooms and everything, but all the ingredients will be in the description box. Um, I'm going to go through my ingredients and then we're going to get into this recipe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for everyone that has been holding in with me. Okay, I am back. So I'm about to go through my ingredients. Um, I have a tube of ground beef. If you don't want to use ground beef, you can use ground turkey. I have some Eckridge smoked sausage over here. Again, these are pork, but you can use beef or turkey or chicken sausage, whatever your preference is. I have a little oil that I'm just going to coat my skillet. I have uh, about a cup each of the onion, the onion, green pepper, and I have, this is an added addition. I never put mushrooms in it, but I'll say maybe I'll try something different. Um, I have um, some sassoon that I'm going to put in there, black pepper, seasoning salt, a little Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder parsley and some of the Tony's Creole seasonings and a little other gumbo filling and the, I never used that so that's new so when I come back we're going to get into this recipe all right now I am back so I put a little oil I'm letting this oil heat up I'm going to do my sausages first and then I'm going to do the ground beef and I'm going to add the onions and all of that in there all that goodness in there so I'm letting this heat up and then I'm going to add in my um, my sausage and you just want it to like low, lightly brown you don't need to get it like real real brown you just slightly brown it and then I'm going to add, um, after I do the sausage over here, I'm going to do my ground beef, season it just regular like you normally would, and drain it. Make sure you drain the fat and everything. And then we're going to add our vegetables. So, actually, I should do my vegetables first, but no, I think I'm going to just stick with the plan so i'm gonna start putting in my sausage it's not quite hot yet but it'll get there put my sausage in i just want it to lightly brown just get a little nice little crust on them Like I said, you can always substitute the sausage or your meat. You can put chicken in this, chicken breast, any kind of meat that you want. So I'm gonna let these start browning. Then when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys the next step. All right now. Okay, I am back. So as you see, my sausage is browning. Like I said, you don't want to have them like too too brown. Just a light coating on them. And I turn the wrong one on. And this pot here, I have um, three cups of instant rice, and then you add um, for each cup of rice water. So I add three cups of water. So I'm just gonna let this cook. Um, I'm going to take the sausage off, but like I said, I don't want them like real, real brown. I just want them lightly brown. So I'm going to take these off. And then I think I'm going to add my vegetables in this and do my ground beef left. So 
turn it to see what on turns it on. Okay. A quick dish. I'm trying to cook early before it really gets too hot to be in the kitchen. So, so I'm cooking at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So I got all of my sausage out all my. And then I'm gonna add my vegetables in the same oil, which will add real good flavor. So I'm going to move my ground beef over, get my cutting board close. I'm gonna add my vegetables in. And you just want to saute them for a little a little bit because they can finish cooking in the rice. So make sure that all this gets in. I broke my tripod, y'all, so I got to get me another one. But somehow the one lid came off and it went screw back on. So I'm using this other thing that's not really a tripod and so I'm working with one hand so bear with me on this video. Okay, so Salt and I'm not going to add no salt because the salt from the um, sausage is enough in the grease to give it a little flavor. So you just want to Add a little more butter in there just a moment. Get some margin out in the butter. And just to coat it a little bit so it won't have my vegetables sticking. Okay, so just put it. I did not measure it. You can put as much as you want in there. And then just, I'm going to turn it down some too. Because I don't want my vegetables to overcook. So we're going to let these finish cooking. Which they're probably just about how I want them for right now. I'm going to give them a few more minutes. And then... I'm going to take them out and add my ground beef. So, okay, I am back. As you see, I have my uh, vegetables over here. They're done. And I am browning my ground beef. I'm going to add some seasoning salt to it. Okay. Some black pepper. And some garlic powder. I'm working with one hand, so bear with me. I gotta get me another tripod. Garlic powder. And I'm gonna add the other seasoning later. So I'm just gonna brown this. 
Make sure you drain the fat off the meat. Now you just want to cook it till it's brown, drain the fat, and then I will be showing you the next step, which will be building this dirty rice. Rice is boiling over here. All right, now, so when I come back, we'll be ready to build this dirty rice. Okay, I am back. So as you see, my rice is done. It has a little liquid at the bottom, but it's not where it's unbearable. Too much liquid. I'm adding in my veggies. I'm going to turn this down some. I'm adding in my veggies. I'm stirring those in. Do a little light stir because you don't want your rice mushy. And then I'm going to add in my, my sausage. Add those in. And we're going to stir those in. I'm going to turn this down on low because you don't want your rice to uh, stick. So that's how it should look so far. Then we're going to add in the ground beef, which I drained. Okay. Add the ground beef in and you stir that in. And you see how full your rice looks? Looks very full, right? That's how you want it. And you just stir your vegetables, your rice, your ground beef, all in. Then to this, we're going to add just a tad of the Creole seasoning for a little heat. I normally don't put it in there, but I'm just going to add a little bit. And then we're going to add, this is a new one now. If you don't want to use this, you don't have to. This is just a little of the gumbo filet. And then I'm going to add um, some parsley and and this dish is so quick, I'm almost done cooking. I don't even think I've been in here a whole hour yet. And then we're going to add in some Worcestershire. Now this is just some extra. You don't have to add this if you don't want to. And I'm going to add a little of mine. And then I'm going to cover this. Cover it. And let it just cook slow. For about 20 minutes because it don't really I mean the rice is already done so you really don't have to let it cook too much okay and then lastly I'm going to add a pack of the um, sassoon in to like change up the color of the rice some so I'm going to so still not doing it. There we go. I don't know if it's see me or not, but I'm gonna add in the sassoon. I got my rice on low because I don't want it to overcook. And then a little sassoon. Just one pack because it's very goes a long way. Let me give this a taste and see. Salt or anything like that. Pull it off and get the other one to get overcooked. I'm going to taste this. Let's see. Where any salt? You can also add, um, sorry y'all. You can also add um, chicken broth in here, beef broth. Mm. I don't think it need no more salt. It's actually perfect. 
I don't think I really need to let it cook anymore either. Because I don't want my rice to get mushy. So. I'm going to plate some of this. So. Taste some of it. Let's see, I'm going to give my significant other a little taste. Babe. 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 Yes, mama. Come taste this for me. Let's go to taste it. Ooh, it's hot. It, yeah, it is hot. And any salt? I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna put some hot sauce in it. Well, you're gonna put hot sauce in yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so he said it's good, y'all. So if you wanna see more recipes like this, hit a girl up. Joanne Sweet and Sari Creations. Until next time, bye bye.